Hey everybody, it's not the fine day here in the GC, Charlotte, North Carolina, and I'm glad to see it as always. As you can see, I'm doing things a little different today. Which I started this at the end of last week, recording on my bike and talking while I'm recording. However, I had some issues with my bike last week and my vehicle, my truck. And it seems like whenever you move forward a step or two, then here comes the trial to see if you want to keep moving forward. But I do have a thought I want to share. Well, let me say, I hope everyone is well today. As always, in an out and about. Doing some exercise like myself. And enjoying this day. Enjoying this sunshine. Fresh air. And as I said, getting some exercise. Pardon me while I hit this hill. Uh oh. Okay, that's gonna force me to take a break. But as I was saying, I have a thought I wanted to share. It's pretty much centered around what I've been going through. There's a lot of times when stuff come our way, we want to take drastic measures. And try to fix things ourselves. have plenty of help. And the main help we have is the most high. Saying he'll never leave us or forsake us. And that means with whatever we're going through. But as I was saying, well, let me get my title first. My thought is be still and know. Don't you move. And of course, that's coming from the script. Be still and know. Yeah, I am Elohim. script goes on to say that he will get the glory among the heathen and among the nations. So basically that text is letting us know that the Most High does things yes for our good I was talking about a few weeks 
out with another one. So I missed the day. Then my vehicle. I think I got my bike up and running and doing the videos like I think I want it. I say I think I want it because this is like my second day of trying this. So when I get back from doing my ride at the park, my vehicle won't start. My, my, my truck wouldn't start. all about and I wanted to take drastic measures at that time but I had to leave my truck at the park put a note on it telling the park officials that I would be back for it the next day and see I don't know the exact script tell my testimony, go back to my testimony from when I was in the hospital and I had just had a surgery. I believe this was the heart surgery or the brain surgery where they put a stent inside of my body. I, I believe it was the, the brain surgery. I don't quite remember. It may have been the heart surgery, but anyway, after I woke up, the young lady told me, and like I said, after I wake up from the surgery, I'm hungry because they haven't hadn't fed me in them few days when I first got there. Or oh, if they tell me they're gonna do a surgery after fast. But anyway, I um woke up and the lady told me, the nurse calmly told me, Miss Holloway, you have to be completely still. And I'm waking up drowsy, hungry, like I said. I said, okay, I'll be still. She said, you cannot move, sir. We need you to lay still for at least a few minutes. And she was lying to me. And every time I asked her, well, can I move now? She, she went on and told me. She said, sir, I'm gonna be honest with you. If you move, you 
can jar the stent that we're pulling out of you now and it can cause injury inside of you and you may have internal bleeding but we wouldn't know where it's at and by the time we had gotten to it, it you know it may have caused you your death i'm like what to myself and i'm like why didn't you tell me this before so she went and told me the truth and was like okay you're gonna need to be still for at least an hour while we pull this stent out of you y'all pull it out while I was in the surgery. You put it in when I was in surgery. You know, I, I ask questions because I'm an inquisitive type of fella, especially when it comes to my life and my health. But anywho, I would lay there for five minutes and ask my wife, how long has it been? She said, baby, it's only been a few minutes. Just be still. You can do it. Just be still. I'm right here with you. She holding my hand. And I'm like, this is the hardest thing <clears throat> Pardon me. that was the hardest thing I had to ever do in my whole life. I mean the hardest thing, and that's sad to say. <clears throat> Pardon me, I get emotional when I talk about this stuff because it's, it was the most hellish and how water, water is time of my life if I could say it like that but that was my hell and hot water season one of them anyway but anywho every five minutes can I move now I can't be still and she pulling out this stint I feel I'm feeling that and telling I need more dope we can't give you more no more no more um, medication Mr. Holloway because we need you alert so you can be still so I'm feeling this lady pulling out this stent out of my body, seeming like centimeter by centimeter, and telling me I had to be perfectly still. Long story short, I was still long enough for them to get that stent out of me. And they came and brought me my grilled chicken sandwich meal. But I was mad. <laughs> I wasn't saying nothing to no nurses, nobody. The doctor come in, hey, Miss Holloway, all oh, chipper. Hey, Miss Holloway, how you feeling? I see we got that stand out. Good job. I'm like, mm. <laughs> when I get mad, that's what I do. I go, mm. I only want to open my mouth. I'm like, mm. And I get that from my aunt, maybe that's why she used to, oh, she'll treat you. <laughs> you say something to it, she, ah, mm. <laughs> but anywho, that's my word of encouragement today. Be still and watch the most high work in your life. But you have to activate him. And how do you activate him, you might ask? Through obedience. When he tells you to do something, you just simply do it out of simple obedience. And then you'll watch him show out for you. And see, what you have to remember is it's not just for you, it's for him. He's working on his glory during this season. He's, he's getting his glory now. But we have to be still and watch him work, watch him show up. And that's my word for the day. And that's, that's my word of encouragement, like I just said. If you don't know how to be still and you still want to do things your own way, I would encourage you to try the most high see him do things in your life you never thought could be done. Stay up, keep pushing forward in the right direction. Shalom.